This is a demo of a pre-release game. From Humble Games! Hello, Internet, and welcome back to my continued coverage of the Steam Next Fest, June 2022. Today, we're having a look at Ghost Song. About which I don't know a great deal. Uh, taking a look at my audio sliders because I haven't done anything. Highlight character. Uh, mm, yes. I like it when we have the option of doing that because in some games, I do have a tendency to lose the main character. This game was designed to be played with a dual analog star controller. Well, that's handy because I'm using a dual sense PlayStation 5 controller. Play game. The visual or explorer, the intended way to play, provides a challenge. An additional reward will be unlocked upon completion. If you're an experienced player, choose this mode. This mode reduces the penalties associated with dying. Loss of nano gel is minimal and lasting suit damage is not incurred. Certain other adjustments are also in place to make this mode more approachable. The game may still be challenging at points, but failure is less painful. If you aren't sure, choose this mode. I really like it when games tell you things like this. You know, they've got multiple difficulties, but they actually explain the changes that those difficulties make. I really wish more games would do this rather than just this mode is easier. Well, easier how? An additional reward will be unlocked upon completion is also, in my opinion, an absolute must for a game like this. If there is something that you're not going to get by choosing an easier difficulty, tell us. Because a lot of people will only play a game through once. And if they want to get everything, as I often do, Ooh, pretty stars. And slightly undulatedly stars. Or is that just me? The dead suit. Well, I mean, that's gripped me. Quiet for many years. On this day, something stirs within. Something new. Nice little bit of music to go with this as well. Nice speed that that scrolls at. Lupoto. <sighs> oh, we are the dead suit. There's actual breathing. Okay, so initial thoughts. The uh, the voice audio was a little bit quiet in comparison to everything else, so let's uh, bump that up a little bit. Okay, so what do we got? We don't have D-pad movements, which is fine because it did say it was going to be analog stick. Right. Left trigger, or L2, locks us in place, so we have free aim in much the same way as Metroid. Left bumper, or L1, doesn't do anything yet. Neither does R1, neither does R2. X is our jump button. Fire button. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, small creature. Uh, we seem to have a stamina-based melee on circle. I shall leave you. We are, of course, going left at the start. And we have found something. Oh, that's nice. I like the little birds flying away. There's, um, the, the, the controller vibrates when you, uh, punch the button. 
Hello? What the? Are you hostile? I'm assuming you're hostile. Oh, you can hold the button down. For rapid fire. Lizal Tal, the lost hunter. Oh, no, okay, don't. Don't stand in those. Well, there goes all our health. Um, I have nothing with which I can heal. However. Oh, shit, he's back. Shite. <laughs> oh. Okay, so left at the start gets us a, a pretty little scene with some birdies flying away from something. And then a boss. And there we have got, on our health bar, what I'm assuming is the permanent suit degradation that the difficulty screen was talking about. Now, how permanent we're talking, I don't know. Oh, our gun can overheat. Interesting. Can we get our bits back? We can, but that doesn't change our suit. Interesting. Apples. Um, we don't have a dodge roll or anything, or a dash, or any kind of evasive maneuver. <laughs> Well, my uh, suit degradation... I'm assuming there will be somewhere that we can repair the dead suit. Because otherwise, depending on the difficulty of the game, this could be quite a short experience. Get our stuff back. So that is just our currency. Oh, maybe that's a parry. Does it actually tell us in the controls? No, it's just a melee. So the sprint and a dash, allegedly. And left triggers, uh, L1's going to be our heal, but we can't yet. So there is a surprise left at the start. Hmm, holes in the ceiling. Fire basic blaster. Fire builds heat that can affect blaster performance. Does more damage the closer you are to your targets. Right, so that's just nano gel that we are acquiring, not health. So health is limited. I assume we will be able to get upgrades that will allow our blaster to fire more before it overheats. We can shoot in the air as well. It doesn't make us hover or anything whilst we're in the air. It feels a very Metroid and as a massive fan of the franchise, I'm fine with that. We've got currency bouncing all over the shop. Ooh, a shiny. Mapping unit. Mapping? Did somebody say maps? Open status menu and tab to map display. Rooms are added to the map interface as you discover them. Ooh, an interface. So we've got a little... The dead suit has sustained damage. Maximum HP has been lowered by 8%. It's percentage-based. 
Interesting. Gun power. Condition. Lightly damaged. The dead suit can sustain lasting damage, which limits maximum health and reduces heat efficiency. Oh, so I... Hmm. So not only do we end up with lower health, but we do less damage as well. No, we don't do less damage, but we can... We, we lose shots. That's quite punishing. Luck. Ooh, there's a lot of modules. Hey, look, a map. A map? With markers. Very specific style markers. Right. I, I prefer it if select just straight up brings up the map. Hold on. A flower. How'd you grow so fast, flower? The dead suit has a very unexpected voice. Which I can hear a lot better now. I think the headshots do more damage, don't they? They do. That's cool. Huh. This feels really solid. Perform melee attacks. Melee attacks are even stronger when the gun barrel is red. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, that's a really interesting mechanic. So... When you gun overheats and you're doing less damage because you've been firing a while and enemies are getting close to you, you can then use melee. The um, the depth of background with the mist here is nicely done. And again, there's a little f little tree thing there. I can't. Mm. I kind of want to see what's down this hole, don't I? Because of course I do. Ooh. A tunnel. You again. Clearly leading... Hello? Nope. Okay, then. Yeah, can drop through there. Whoa! Shoots. <laughs> nah. It is a long way down. Oh, the spikes on that ceiling. Oh, no, there's an enemy there. That's what it hits. I kind of feel <laughs> because I don't know what's down here. I kind of feel like we should follow the spooky lady. Let's follow the spooky lady. Is that currency being attracted to us? Norberg Laboratory. Huh. <gasps> we have recovered our health. But not our maximum health. 
Hello? Oh. You're, uh... Is it a statue? Melancholy music. I'm assuming that icon on the left is... Safe zone? Okay, gunpowder determines your damage with gun and explosive type weaponry. Vigor makes you tougher. Resolve influences your energy pool, stamina pool, HP pool, and occasionally, occasionally, yeah, occasionally increases damage with specific weapons. Interesting. Okay. Ah, okay. So th there's going to be a tug of war here, I suspect, with making repairs and leveling up. Okay. Gonna, there's an enemy right there, you spoon. So, question, I wonder. Do these flowers indicate... That's interesting. Do these flowers indicate a save zone is... nearby? Oh, gosh, yes, you do get some, uh, some big chunk of power, don't you, from uh, on your melee from that? Hello? Blip. Boss? Healing core. Press to regenerate health. Charges displayed over top of the health bar and are replenished when visiting a save point. But we cannot get what is up here. Can we get you to come down? Oh, yes, we can. I'm, I'm really liking this. It feels... Very polished. Have our bars changed slightly? Or am I going more insane than normal? Right. Has everything respawned? Or is it doing the proper souls thing? No, it looks like it's doing the proper souls thing. That's what we want. Oh no, actually I wanted to talk to the statue first, didn't I? So that I could try. It's me again, statue. There we go. Let's see. Interesting that there's no um, animation for repairing. That's fine, though. You know, if I had a, a long animation or something, then that could actually slow down the gameplay. Pew, 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 pew. Some of these enemies don't start moving until you get close to them right ah so we've got little markers on the map for us we've got a statue we've got our save points oh we can oh we can't zoom in any further that's as far as we can zoom in
Now, it looks like all exits are marked from the rumours. That could be all visible exits. Let's follow our tall dead waifu. I assume she's going to lead us to... Uh-oh. Yeah, the, this, there's a good kind of ebb and flow, I think is the best way of describing it, to this combat. I've just realised I can't get back up, can I? So, either we're going to get a wall climb, or a double jump, or the demo's going to end. <laughs> you can aim up and down a little bit with the stick as you are running. Oh, shoot. Yes, they can fall off ledges, can't they? Yeah, the, the little melee combo works quite nicely. The gun does take a while to, to, to cool down, and you have to let it be. You can't just fire off the odd shot. Uh, is the marker... Ah, that's how we're going to get back up there. Yeah, and the marker does actually follow our position on the room. Yeah, that's going to give us a platform to land on. That avoids some of the weird issues that you can sometimes get with uh, room transitions. Ooh. Right, I guess we try the healing injection. There we go. Nice little rainbow effect. Almost full health, but not quite. Hmm, the music has cut out. Bugs? Uh, hey, bug. There we go. Getting real kind of Super Metroid vibes from that. Hmm, I just entered this glowing tube. Okay. Oh. That could maybe do with a little bit of a fade in. A little bit abrupt. Hmm. Let's quickly see what's on the side. Oh, back into the lab. Different coloured rooms. Don't mind if we do. I like the fact that the lights, the, the tubing glows as well. I was going to say, that looks like an elevator. <laughs> The voices are really spooky. <laughs> right, there was a broken wall down there, but I couldn't shoot it. I wonder if that is going to be... Yeah, 
that's going to be our way round. Ooh, what? Did I see a glowy thing? I did. There's a glowy thing over there. Oh, that's lovely sound. Oh, squishy eggs. Oh, this is, um, this is nice. What we got? Small nanogel cluster. So, consumable souls. One assumes, Can't, not getting up there. This is going to take us down. Hold on. No. This is going to take us down behind. Yeah. I assume these explode upon getting close to us. Phase dash. Hold button longer. Full dash. Release early for shorter dash. Your first dash grants invulnerability for its duration. Invulnerability effect has a small cooldown. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, it, a, a dash in the sense that it speeds us up. Oh, I think I pissed the door off. No, okay. So it doesn't look like we've got what we need to get through there. Can we get back up here? We can. Ooh, those sound effects are lovely. Anyway, I've now got the phase dash, which means we can get through. Not like that, we can't. Nano gel cluster. Duh. Can't get up onto there. Uh, I guess we're going back this way then. I'm really liking this. It's got really good atmosphere. But yeah, on the right. Hi, Rebecca. Dashing grants an invisibility it, it, no invincibility effect for its duration. There's a momentary cooldown. Uh oh. Ow. Oh shoot. Oh, I've got invincibility frames now. Use them, damaging. Oh, shit! Uh, I think enemies have got contact damage on as well. And I hadn't checked before, but I think they've got contact damage. Contact damage sucks. It's crappy game design, especially if you've got Souls-like systems. don't understand why people would put contact damage in a Souls game. Yeah, there is contact damage. 
Um, we need to go and get our stuff, don't we? At least these enemies are re well, I'm not going to say stunlockable, but they're uh, they're reasonably easy to kind of. I, I don't know whether they stagger ever so slightly. But it gives you the opportunity to wail on them a bit. Should probably have checked whether he could climb. I do like the fact that you can get headshot damage on them though. That's cool. I suspect that there's probably a shortcut back from the save point to come back for you once we've got our stuff back i think so enemies can spawn in places where but they're, they're basically named kind of mini bosses aren't they yeah that that effect needs um And that's contact damage for you. <sighs> Not a fan of that. I, re I really don't think there's any need for it. Yeah, especially if you've got multiple enemies coming in at you. Having contact damage as well as normal attacks. When we've got a stamina system for dodging and stuff. It's like... Also, it's a long way to try and get back there. I wonder if there's a way... That we can get round to it. Let's see if going this way, because in theory, this is going to link us back over, but it might be blocked off. But I think these are just randomly shooting spores into the air, aren't they? They're not actually aiming for us. No. Well, well, there is a ledge there. I like the trail and stuff that we're leaving behind as well. Yeah, see, this is taking us down. They're taking quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of damage, even when I'm shooting them in the heads. There we go. So that's our uh, nano gel recovered. Come over here, mate. Oh shit.
Uh oh. Nope. They're tricksy to deal with. Fishmaster's Glow? You gained a module. Open status menu and switch to modules tab to equip. Causes healing uh, injections to also regenerate energy. Okay, so we can power down. That's really interesting. I'll just walk straight into that. Right into that. Okay, so that's not the dash button. That's the dash button. Oh, ooh. That's got a nice solid you can't get through here yet sound to it. Small nano gel cluster. I'm gonna heal. <gasps> Save. Okay. So this is where I'm assuming our first target is. A load of other bits and pieces that we can potentially get to no not so we can dash as much as we want by the look of it but we only get invulnerable in vulnerability frames when the cooldown meter is depleted The, the range of the gun is not the same as the range on the laser point, pointer. And that keeps throwing me. No, hello. Oh shit, I've fallen. <laughs> oh, so have you. Haha. -ha. Killed you all. I suppose. I should have expected oh no you can't infinitely dash you are still limited by the blue energy meter of course you are Roslock drift beta uh oh Okay, they're quite squishy, fortunately. If they're just going to ambush out us out of the ground. The, uh, the use of colour palette here is nice. Yeah, I saw you.
And you. Fail. Yeah, so we get a, a, if we hold down the button, we get a little bit of a, a run afterwards. Healing core. What are you, healing core? Ah, you are a consumable heal. I think. Oh no, you are uh, an extra nano injector thingy for us. So we've now got two heals. As opposed to just the one. I understand. Ooh. Gonna say. I like how they are hidden uh, amidst the stuff on the ground. I mean, I'm going to fall afoul of it multiple times. This floor looks like it's going to fall away beneath me. Uh... I don't know whether I want to go go up yet. I'm being followed by a spore. Oh, okay, we're going down. This this has got a very kind of alien feel to it small nano gel cluster interesting that we've got like hints of three different zones here we've only found so far one place to level up Right, that will allow us to get back up. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it's getting dark. The platforming feels very tight and responsive, which is nice. Okay, more of you. Okay. So those things keep a coming. 
orange god seed. Consume this item to permanently increase gunpowder by one. It seems to be whispering to you. Your suit has been infested. The parasites are not causing significant harm to vital functions. Oh. Uh. Okay. That was, uh... That, that was very interestingly done frankly there's there's a lot in this game that is holding my attention which unfortunately might mean that this turns into uh Ew. oh shite This may well turn into a slightly longer than... Well, it's already is slightly longer than 30 minutes that I try and allocate for these. I'm intrigued by this parasite that it's mentioned. Alright, more crystal stuff that we can't break through we have a route up no that's that's not the wall moving Huh. That's a very empty room. Oh. Okay. Another new area. Let's, uh... I see you. You're just about able to tell. Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that's there normally or if it's just there to block us off for the demo. Or what? I suspect it's probably there normally. I've got no healing. Hey. Hi. Hold on. Let's talk. Uh, hello. You friendly? I'm not sure. You don't know if you're friendly. How can I tell? Do you intend to kill me? No. Well, then you're friendly enough. <laughs> More than most of the stuff I meet out here. More than most of the stuff. I'm Roper. Huh? Huh? I'll be heading back to camp soon. It's not far, just up, the sur up on the surface. You should come. We can talk there. It's safe. We have food, if you're hungry. Not much. Uh, mushrooms and roots, mostly. But you're welcome to join us. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'm intrigued. Nobody should be alone. Right. Uh, this is not a rope that I can climb. Nobody should be alone. Right. It's intriguing that not all of that was voice acted. 
What are these little things? Hello, animal. Oh. Ooh. This is really, really intriguing. I'm really taken by the the world that has been created and the story. Oh, I kind of expected that, if I'm honest. We can, however, go back and explore all the other bits and pieces, if we so desire. This is already on my wish list. Um, but if it hadn't have been, it definitely would be now. Really, really impressed with this. It's got a great Metroid style feel to it. It's got the obvious kind of Souls influence, which, you know, I very much like. Um, Estus Flash mechanics. But it's also got this really interesting kind of alien world with just that little bit of. I really don't know what's going on and that's intriguing there's a lot of active questions like what is the only place that we can up, uh, upgrade and level up all the way over here uh, I've, I've probably missed one or two haven't I um, around the place I can't imagine there's just going to be that one level up point in the entire game but I do have this tendency to just miss save points and just miss interactable level up points like that. Bonfires and so on and so forth. There's always... There's always the uh, the damaging possibility. The damaging effects, as I sometimes call it. Where it's like, you know there's going to be these things, but you have just managed to miss them. Let's... Uh, Let's keep on playing, because time constraints are for wusses. And I am a wuss. <laughs> Ow! That's what hit me before. Right, we didn't go through here last time, did we? Well, no, we went through here, but I ran away like the, the coward that I am, because I saw you guys. If you just get close enough, you can aggro only one of them. Oh, there's many. And whatever you are. Oh, dear. Oops. Yeah, they hit hard. That thing that's crawling around is dropping spores on us. Oh, they can jump. Yeah, this is not a room that you want to... Uh, Just want to root, run head first into. I like that they've got that screaming sound effect as well that shows you that they're attacking. Yeah, that they've that they've latched onto you. <gasps> Another healing core. Don't mind if I do. But how many of these we're going to get? Because the the indicator on the hood is actually quite small for them. So, is it going to give us quantity rather than quality?
Well, I think that was where we collected something, wasn't it? Okay, so the were... I, I do kind of wish I could zoom in ever so slightly more of this map. Which is weird. That's not normally a complaint that I make. Normally it's, can I zoom out further so I can see more of what's going on? Oh, do we have mouse and keyboard control on this? No. I was just wondering... Oops. Yeah, see, they don't take a lot to destroy. Uh, right. We didn't go up here, did we? No, clearly we didn't, because there's a thing... Ah! Shit. There's a load of spores and a thing here. Ah, oh, the floors are wibbly. Small nano gel cluster. The uh, the bringing up of the map is very very smooth. There are a lot of games, especially games built on Unity, where bringing up the map kind of takes a little while. But here it's it's instant, and it, it disappears very quickly as well. Excuse me. I think there were things on the floor that I'm missing. Spear. What are you, Magma Spear? <gasps> A different melee weapon? Okay then. Oh, this is really cool. I'm really liking this. You can probably tell. It's got reach. Yeah. Still don't know how to get through these doors, though. Stabbing it is clearly not the way. And that would link us back there. I wonder if the thing that gets us through the doors is in the demo or not. Um, if I could offer one critique, the map marker system. I like that we've got so much choice. I don't like the fact that they're all monsters or seemingly alien heads. I'd prefer them to be something a little bit more generic, if I'm honest, like, you know, treasure chest icons or, or whatever. Um, because I feel like if... I feel, uh, well, it depends. If later on in the game, we are going to need to hunt down all of these things and we can be marking them on as we see them okay fair enough um 
But as it is, you know, I, I like to, for example, if I see a shiny thing on the ground, I like to mark all the shiny things in one with one icon. And if I see impassable barriers, I like to mark them with a different icon. And these, I don't think, are going to have the right kind of memorableness. Is that even a word? Memorableness. Um, if you take a look at how Hack does it in early, Hack being in early access currently, uh, that's the wrong button. Um, Hack does it really, really well. You know. It, it, it's got places in the world which have got barriers that you need to break upwards through with an uppercut and it gives you an icon that you can put on the map um, that has the same kind of breakable wall pattern on it um, but again I I'll, obviously I, I haven't played enough of this game to, to really know what kind of things we are actually going to use map markers for just my my kind of gut feeling is that that we've got a lot of choice but we're not going to be able to remember what the choice is and i assume should this piece of feedback be something that other people have said and you, you know it is decided to change it i assume that swapping out small static icons like this in your sprite sheet shouldn't take much time i'm not gonna say much effort because obviously all artistic endeavors require effort ow oh i've got so much range on this as well I wonder if damage decreases as as our um our gun cools down. I really like that. I think that's a cool ebb and flow system. Ah. Uh save points. I'm just backtracking instantly. You probably gathered this. I just want to see what else the uh so we couldn't get up there, could we? Did I even see a way up there? I don't know whether I did, actually. Was I just not paying attention? Yeah. Just take all the damage. right around here shit is there a bit of the ceiling that I didn't see Could be that it's blocked off of the demo. I feel like it should be there. Maybe it's one way. Maybe it's something that we'll come back to. Yeah, that wasn't a sensible way of doing that. Oh! We don't actually need to use the save flower to save. We just need to be in proximity to it. That's... That's cool, actually. 
I quite like that. Right. There we couldn't get through. Let's use the big red bug as blocks. So that's blocked. That's blocked. That was blocked. I might as well just do a full explore of this. If I decided to cut the video here and maybe do a, a two part of it, feedback for the developer is very positive. Really liking what has been created. It feels very smooth. You guys can't jump up here, can you? That's a shame. Yeah, re really, really enjoyable concepts here. Ah. Yes, of course, we couldn't get back up there, could we? Yeah. So, because of the the souls-like nature of this game, they don't want you just to be able to stand at range and destroy everything. You know, it's like spell casting in Elden Ring or whatever. Um, it can get super broken. Uh, can I get up onto there? Yes, I can. There we go. Okay. I think that's just a way back. No, never mind. I think that's an extra way. Huh. Yeah, we found ourselves a new room. There's a lot of enemies underneath us. Oh, shit! Flying enemies! A thing! Adam's Tweak. It's a new what's it? Increases melee and electrical damage. Also increases damage received. We're definitely not getting up there. So for now, that is blocks. Oh, that's a different kind of enemy. So I'm going to stand up here and pelt him in the face. Oh, you're another one of them. Oh, you've got range. I should probably heal. Haha. Oh, you're another one as well. Yeah, I, I, I do kind of feel that contact damage is a little bit unnecessary. 
if I was going to offer one piece of feedback about the uh, the combat in the game, it's, it's a piece of feedback I seem to have been offering a lot, actually, in the next first demos that I've played. It's that a lot of them seem to rely on contact damage. And I don't think... You, I, uh, th this isn't me trying to wuss out. It's literally, I don't think you need it in this game. Obviously, for enemies that just rush at you with spikes, fair enough. But these enemies have got obvious attacks. And therefore, I feel like they should only damage you with obvious attacks. Especially when you are putting this emphasis on your weapon overheating and you're having to get into to melee. That's that's just my personal take on it. It's it's I feel like it's something that might aggravate down the line rather than me you know praising oh hello okay so that's a hidden currency container i guess why did i just flash pink Blech. Fail. Okay. Oh, more rooms. Oh, the game doesn't pause when the map's up, though, does it? That's probably why it has to be so smooth. Um Oh shit. I think just before I go to the side there, I'm gonna go and spend some of the many, many nano gels that we've acquired. Definitely going to put some points into uh, gun power, I think. I'm really glad that we've got an auto magnet on these things as well. I think that's a good uh, design decision. Hello, robot. The, uh, the amount it costs to level ourselves up at the moment is going up quite slowly. Right. Okay. So we've got 100 stamina, 90 energy. Hundred and twenty HP. We got some nice round numbers there, except power capacity. One thing I'll have to check is does the does the repair cost increment more as well the more you do it? Because that's an interesting balancing act that is going to need to be struck. Yeah. If, if you're going for Souls-like and you're dying a lot, the last thing you want is to be penalised multiple ways. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Unfortunately, I've just managed to dash through him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got so much range on that, it's great. Jumping, Demogen. You managed to uh, to judge that jump super well. Uh, that looks like somewhere we're going to be dropping down if we fail a jump, doesn't it? Oh, interesting. We can't get up there. The, uh, the plant life is suitably alien. Okay, so we've got some water or fluid of some kind. Just hit that. I don't know whether we can go down. Oh, the water's actually marked on the map as well. There doesn't seem to be a breath bar or anything, which would make sense if we are a suit. Why have you told me this? Hold button while running to sprint. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we can get the motivator from here. This is a specific. This is a. Let's try try this again. This is a substantial slice of demo. Gonna say I saw you there. Yeah, this has got a load of range. Ooh, not. Just seeing what I can get away with. I can get away with that. So, you can be quite precise about things. Give me some currency. And this is going to link us up over the top. Is this just going to drop us down? Yeah, that's just dropping us down. That's not letting us get to the other side of here. Ah, but this will. Let's not get knocked back. Okay, and this is taking us up and over the top. It's gone? Echoey. <gasps> Another healing core. 
in terms of placement of objects and things in this game world i am very impressed so far with how carefully done everything is I'm also a fan of the fact that um, the energy recharge and stuff isn't terminally slow. It comes back at a reasonable clip. Because that can be an issue in Soul-style games. We're back in Roslock, uh, Roslock Drift. Tunnels aren't safe. Come back in a year. Tunnels aren't safe. Come back in a year. As in, this part of the game isn't done yet. I don't actually know how old this demo is. I think this demo was live before the Steam Next Fest, but I'm not positive on that. I don't know if there's any way I can check. Uh, squishy. Uh oh. Oh, shoot! Oh, dear. Many friends! Is this the demo saying, We did warn you. was quite exciting actually and our reward the sprinkler is a blaster module launches a device that rolls around and sprays small projectiles upwards yeah so this is actually quite dangerous Ah, okay, so it's a special sub weapony thing. <laughs> Gives us a little icon. To show us that we've got it equipped. But yeah, we can't progress any further down that way. On the off chance there's anything in the walls. Nothing down there. Nothing down there. Tunnels aren't safe. Come back in a year. He's got a big, big thing. I mean, one thing that we could do is head all the way back to... We've got seven parasites. I find it interesting that our nanogel actually takes, uh, takes a place in our inventory. I suppose it's nice that we can see it. Okay, so... Realistically, that's... Uh, 
That's everything in that area that we can access. We do actually get extra momentum on our jump as well if we are sprinting, which is good. I've played a couple of games recently that for some reason don't do that. And it's weird. And it feels weird. Yeah, I remember you. I also remember failing that jump multiple times already. Apparently, I'm going to keep on doing so. <laughs> I think I am, actually. What are we up to? Oh, we're up to an hour and a half now. I think I might actually call it there because it's lunchtime mostly not because I'm not having fun anymore but because I'm quite hungry um, yeah so as soon as we get into these little light things we are uh, we heal let's just quickly so each of those is a hundred and the large one, or the normal one, is 250. So. Oh, that's, that's all we've got. All we've got gel for. Um, yes, I, I am very, very impressed with this. As you can probably tell from the fact that, much like when I played the Biogun demo in the last Next Fest, that uh, my 30-minute video proposal has turned into an hour and a half video proposal. Really, really good ideas with solid execution. The only niggle that i have is that i don't think certain enemies like the big humanoid ones who've got obvious attack patterns i don't think they need contact damage as well the, the enemies that skitter along the floor with spikes and stuff on them or the the kind of gas ejecting floaty things fair enough absolutely fair enough that they would have contact damage because you know they're poisoning you upon hit but but the bigger enemies with obvious attacks, I don't feel like they should have contact damage as well because if you are close enough to be trying to do any kind of melee with them, it just feels a little bit like you're going to get hit quite a lot. I noticed that the there didn't seem to be much delay on the contact damage you were taking. It was like da-da-da-da-da, and it could wipe out your HP quite quickly. And to me, that feels a little bit off. I know you can dash with relative freedom in this game to get out of it um so maybe it is balanced i don't know it just feels like i might get a bit aggravated with that later on in the game but otherwise you know i'm, I'm really 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 impressed with uh, what this game's offered and i in all honesty i might come back and like i did with biogun um i might because i think we can get back to all of these places um I might go and see if we can fight some of those other bits and pieces after I've had some lunch as kind of an extended look. But yeah, super impressed with this ghost song. Really, really impressed. Uh, this will be a day one purchase for me, I think. Try it out for yourselves, folks. See uh, what your thoughts and opinions are. I'm, I'd be really interested to see whether you had the, a similar kind of reaction to me down in the comments below. And as always, if you have enjoyed the video, do please like subscribe ring the bell do the algorithm stuff and i'll catch you all in the next next first video cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio